Hello guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel Tokyo Kara Konnichiwa, herzlich willkommen. Yeah guys, new week, new trading luck guys, we can check out what we have this week, what kind of short squeeze stocks we can trade in this video here. I will talk about Tupperware guys, yeah, Tupperware in German, the ticker is TUP. We had here a very, very big short squeeze and we have still here a very likely short squeeze situation. I will show you here in the chart what uh, is going on here behind the scenes and also in Fintel guys. So stay with me and watch the video until the end. Yeah, before we here start with the details, we can just check what happened here with Tupperware. That was just here in July 2023. We had here a very huge short squeeze from 866% after a completely crash down here of this ticker, you can see that that we had here already once a short squeeze or let's say a recovery process here in March 2020. That was of course favored here by the stock market squeeze which we had in 2020 and 2021. All the hydrogen stocks, uh, drone companies, AMC, GameStop, everything squeezed guys, meme stocks. You can see so many stocks squeezed in 2020, 2021. When you went long on most of the stocks here, you could almost not lose money. And you can see the peak was here somewhere in, yeah, here in, in that case, it was February 2021. The whole mar stock market collapsed in, in November 2021. But Tupperware had already here a correction a little bit earlier. So this squeeze here, when we measure the squeeze, then we had here in total 2,780%. And even that looks like nothing, guys, but this was also here more than 800%. Yeah, and the question is, guys, can we see something like this happen again? So what we can see in the chart, what is absolute unusual, yeah, and what is what just makes no sense when we compare this, is this squeeze here, guys, which was, yeah, or almost 3,000%. It's very difficult here in the weekly chart to uh, hit the perfect spot here, but that doesn't matter, guys. The thing is when you compare the volume. So we are here in the weekly chart for Tupperware, and when we see the volume, guys, yeah, we had here, you can see that here in the corner when I go over the candles here. So here the biggest volume we had in one week was 58 million, before 25 million, 13 million, 30 million. You can see here the candles. So we had not that big volume here. You can see that very easy in the volume chart here. But we had this kind of run up. So what happened now with our last short squeeze, we had here, guys, <laughs> 550 million volume in one week and the next week 570 million volume. This is completely crazy and makes no sense because the float of Tupperware, and this is now here where it gets uh, really spicy, the float of Tupperware, guys, yeah, we have here a short interest of 20% of the total float, which is 8 million shares, guys. So when you make your own math, I will help you a little bit. We can scroll down. Then you can see, guys, that the float of Tupperware is just 41 million shares. The total tradable float is 41 million shares. And we had just here in July uh, 2023, guys, 1 billion, more than 1 billion shares traded in two weeks for a float of 41 million shares. When we scroll down, you can see the database here in Fintel is going back until 2021. <clears throat> then you can see that the float of Tupperware not, never changed that much. So we have always the same float here. It was 48 million. So the float is even decreasing, guys. So I don't know if this is uh, by share buybacks or if they convert some shares here. You can see here we had 38 million. And here again, 38 million, 40 million. Now we have 41 million. So we don't talk here about delusion, guys. We talk here about a reduction of the float. Uh, caused by whatever, but you have to uh, do know when they reduce the float, guys, and we have here 1 billion shares, which have been, of course, synthetically created. So the, the potential that the short sellers still have to cover them, guys, is very, very high. We have 20% short interest here based on the actual numbers in Fintel, which is, of course, also in favor for a short squeeze. Of course, not a good sign, guys, when the short interest is very high, higher than 5%. That means, of course, short sellers try to yeah, manipulate the price to the downside. 20% is very, very high. So this is not a company which I would just buy and hold for months. But guys, the potential for a short squeeze is really, really high in my opinion. Of course, everything, guys, what I say here is not a financial advice since I'm not a financial advisor, guys. Yeah. As you know, I focus here on short squeeze stocks. Yeah, uh, Tupperware is one big uh, squeeze option which we have here in the market. I will give you now here the price levels to the up and down side, but I just uploaded here one brand new video, guys. Yeah, just yesterday I made the upload, my so-called hot stocks. 
I have an own stock program which is, which is searching the market for short squeeze stocks and this are, these are usual stocks that you don't find here on YouTube. Very unknown stocks guys. Yeah. So as I said, my own program search 35,000 US stocks here and find these based on my metrics that I created. Uh, which have potential to squeeze then I analyze them and present them here on my channel guys for members only yeah so this is what I do here for elite circle members we had a lot of squeezes here in the past week so just last week we had here Kintara with 180% squeeze in one day of course guys this is for me a short squeeze when we have more than 100% in one day I never talk about my member stocks with just squeezing 30 40 or 50% in one day this is also very nice profit for one day trade, but of course for me, not a short squeeze. That's why, that's why I just don't mention them here. But we have a lot of squeezes here. The week before, guys, we had also 178% squeeze here two days after I made the video, the stock squeeze. That's why I always try to predict squeezes, guys. Yeah, I cannot see the future. Nobody can see the future, but we have a lot of hidden yeah, signs and uh, signals in the chart which are in favor for a squeeze and the potential for a squeeze is there. And this here was one of the bigger squeezes, 270%. That took a few days, but same here, guys. Yeah, here our green line was the enter level here, the entry level, and the exit is, as usual, the golden pocket. And that was on the dot, guys. Very easy trade, 271%. This is what you can see here when you join the Elite Circle membership, guys. The link to the membership is in the video description, or you can just go here on the main page of my channel and join here the membership and the Black Belt Elite Circle, guys, is the way to go. I will limit this membership, guys, so it is still available here, but in future I will maybe uh, make limitations here because we're growing every day, we're getting more and more and more members every day. I want to keep the quality high, so I will may limit this in future, guys. Yeah, This is where you get access here to the hidden short squeeze stocks and, of course, to the short squeeze indicators, which I use here, guys, to trade these short squeeze stocks. So now back to Tupperware. So we know that the float is unchanged. So we have a float of 40 million shares, which means, guys, yeah, potentially, potentially something like this is possible again, especially after this volume here. And I think, guys, even higher, higher prices are possible. I don't want to hype you up. We make this here step by step because we need to see a little bit more downside first, in my opinion based on the technical. So technically the RSI is perfectly guys, perfectly oversold now. It can have a little bit more pain in my opinion, but when we see how the RSI is building strength here guys, yeah, this looks not bad. We are back here in the oversold area. This is exactly what I'm waiting for here. And when we switch now here to the daily chart, so then we can also see guys that we are now here in the oversold area one more time here on the daily chart. As I said, a little bit more pain is Good is what I want to see. Last time when we had this constellation here with the oversold RSI, we can see we had here a nice pop of 30%. I mean, this is Mickey Mouse. This is nothing, as I said, this is nothing what I talk about. But what we have to do, guys, we have some open business here in the chart. I will enable the drawings now for you. And you can see the orange line here, guys, is our open gap at $1.04. Technically, guys, we have to close this gap. We have two potential buy-in levels here for Tupperware. Also, everything, everything here in the green box is a potential buy level. Everything here between $1.20 and $0.98, cents, guys, uh, is a potential buy-in level here for Tupperware. But I personally want to see this gap getting filled. I don't like open gaps, down gaps here. And as you can see, we're trading here in a trend channel pattern. Yeah, Besides that huge spike here, which... Yeah, catapult us here or uh, squeeze us out of this trend channel. We have this trend channel pattern and it would just make sense that we come back one more time, close the gap and touch the, the bottom of this trend channel before we see a squeeze here to the upside back in the $1.87 range. And if we can go back guys here over this, out of this trend channel here back to this red trend line guys, then much, much higher squeezes for Tupperware are possible. As I said, based on this volume here guys, I mean, look at the volume chart. This is just crazy and these fail to deliver synthetic shares which are created here, guys. I don't know. In my opinion, they are not settled yet. They settled some of them here with this move. I think that was 130%, something like that. Yes, 136% was this spike here. But in my opinion, guys, the volume here is not enough here. You can see 48 million and 38 million here in this two days. This is not enough, guys, to cover 1 billion uh, in, yeah, potential synthetic shares here for Tupperware, guys. This is why I think we will see a bigger squeeze incoming. Uh, you can pause the video right now, guys. I will stop this here now. You can pause the video. Uh, this is TradingView, guys. Everything what you say here is uh, see here is based on TradingView. 
If you want to copy these drawings, guys, please pause the video right now. If you don't have TradingView, guys, I have a discount link in my video description. You can use that link to get your own TradingView account. I will show you that, guys. This is this link here. <clears throat> then you can say $15. I know it's not that much, but it's better than nothing. Why to waste this money, guys? And all my videos, guys, all my videos are based on TradingView. I can highly recommend to use that program. I use it for all my trades, and that's why I always... Um, recommend to my members to use that guys and uh, especially the plus subscription is in my opinion the way to go you can choose between essential plus and premium the plus subscription guys is good for absolute beginners and also advanced traders since you can add a lot of indicators and play around with the functions here of trading you guys use this link here to save 15 dollar guys yeah besides that i just started my patreon you can also check that out you can become a free member here or check out the tiers which i have guys i have the short squeeze black belt club here we also post short squeeze signals or if you want to get access here to the discord vip launch you can also join it but i have also this free membership here patreon.com black belt trader guys is the way to go if you want to be a part of the black belt club guys yeah don't forget here to check out my hot stocks guys the video is just right out now Prete yeah i've tried to predict squeezes for this week guys a few tickers are in there which have high potential so you can join the elite circle membership if you want to see these tickers guys yeah i wish you good luck with tupperware as i said i would wait guys i would wait here for the shakeout yeah then uh, i also can show you that yeah uh, as i said the bottom here where we can see a potential squeeze is here 98 cents because we can see how the candles reacted here then the price gapped up so everything guys here in the screen box is a potential buy-in zone as i said i personally would wait here for a retest of this algo trend channel here so here back in the 98 cents 95 94 cents something like a shakeout here guys but you can see we had here a huge squeeze reaction yeah don't be late if you want to yeah try to uh, risk a trade here on tupperware guys i would very very closely take a look at this price range here guys guys i wish you great success for all your trades this week thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one arigatou gozaimasu vielen dank viel erfolg alles gute und bis bald take care guys bye bye